Hiya. Here is a very short video about how to start SIGs in the Teaching Association. A SIG is a special interest group. And this is a brilliant way of getting people together with people who are passionate about the same thing. A teaching association can be very broad, very wide. Everyone's teaching English, but in different ways and they have different interests. So it's a very good way of focusing the professional development. Let's have a look. So some SIGs start organically. They start by themselves. Sometimes maybe you're doing a project about something in your teaching association, or maybe you find out that lots of teachers have a particular interest, um, for example, inclusion and disabilities, or helping refugees, or global issues, the environment and climate change and gender equality, or testing and evaluation. Um, maybe you're doing a, a discussion and you find out that there are say 20 teachers who are really interested in the same thing. So then you can start a SIG, a special interest group on that topic. All you need to do as the teaching association is to provide a space. And this can be a physical room or it can be a WhatsApp group, probably more useful nowadays. Um, a time maybe to meet weekly, monthly. Maybe they will need some training and input and you can help organize that as the, the, the umbrella teaching association. Maybe they need some help with topics and sessions and how to organize that. But if they are passionate about some particular special interest, then they will want to meet, share, train, help each other. And the special interest group should be quite successful. It doesn't have to start like that though. It can be uh, planned special interest groups. Um, and you as the teaching association can decide which ones to plan. Okay, have a look at some of these here. Um, you need to decide which SIGs you're going to offer your members. On the right here, we have all of the IATFL SIGs. So English for Specific Purposes, Young Learners and Teenagers. All of these have an acronym like Young Learners and Te Teenagers is YLT. Uh, testing, pronunciation, research, teacher development, inclusive practices, global issues. All of these are different special interest groups that people in IATFL join because they are passionate about that topic and they want to meet and work with lots of other teachers who also love that specific special interest within teaching English. Um, my special interest group in IATFL is the Global Issues Special Interest Group. And I've met so many really interesting people who share my passions. I've traveled a lot with it. I've done lots of conferences and events and publications with them. And it's really, really, really made my interest in teaching so much deeper. I think it's probably best as a teaching association to start with two or three special interest groups. Don't start with all of these at the same time. You could ask the members to vote, to choose maybe three possible SIGs out of a total of five suggestions, or all choose one out of a total of five and see which ones are the most popular. Number four, you can include one choice of SIG for all new members and all the Original members can choose one SIG. You can add new SIGs if they're needed, when they're needed, when you find out that there's a new group of teachers who are interested in something else. So uh, here are some resources and ideas. If you look at these, uh, you can see all of the resources from the IATFL SIGs um, that have already been made and are free and available to other teachers, teaching associations. So it's on the IATFL site under the 
free resources currently made available ELT professionals. And there you can find lots and lots and lots of websites, materials from the SIGs in IATAFL that you could share, you could look at, you could build on, you could build discussions around, for example. I think it's a very good idea to make contact with other similar SIGs um, in IATAFL and in TESOL International. In TESOL International, they're not called SIGs, they're called ISIS, I-S, interest sections. And see how you can work together, see how they um, suggest you can work together and see what you could do. Okay, so maybe you've got your special interest groups now, but what do you do with them? It's this question, what to do in the SIGs? A uh, good suggestion is to have a WhatsApp group for all the SIG members, and then they can discuss what they do. They can have weekly, monthly plans. They can run activities in the WhatsApp group. They can organize events or meetings for outside the WhatsApp group. They can share materials, ideas, ask questions, for example. You can also allow space, space or give sessions for the SIGs at the face-to-face -face events that you do and at conferences. They can present ideas to each other. They can share ideas. They can plan, have planning meetings. It's a good idea for them to publish newsletters or publications um, specifically relevant to their special interest. And each SIG can hold their own special events if they want to, or your teaching association can hold special events for each of the SIGs. Um, for example, um, if you have an inclusivity SIG, you could run a whole project related to inclusivity for the whole of the teaching association and get the inclusivity SIG to uh, run the project. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.